Well, hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review in the rotation of which leads us to a Bionicle Throwback Thursday, and this time it is on a pair of the Rockshees from 2003, and this being Kurak and Lirak. Yeah. So on the front of the booklets, you see a picture of the set, so which large logo there, and LEGO in the sign, and the set numbers, and as the style of the backgrounds of all Rockshees are all the same. Because, you know, fitting for the clues there and everything. And on the back of which, uh, for all the Rockshees and all the different collectible Kranas you can get, or Kratas actually, you can get in Bonkle.com. Okay. And then uh, for the old Bonkle game and BonkleBasketLight.com and also the Kuda set from the time and after the two uh, Rahi sets, then, then the first Takanuva set, also then, which I'll also be doing for an upcoming Throwback Thursday as well. And in the back is also the combination models, which were kind of and have fit into the capsule, which make it simulate that scene in the movie and the last building stats. So for the one, so with the Rakshis itself, themselves, but since these are all clone sets, I'm just going to cover just a pair in this video. So from the ground up, as usual, is that these were the only sets to ever use these kind of pieces, at least until uh, Kongu in the Toamari series did use that. But then, as the uh, limb lower limbs, they used a lot in a lot of sets over time. But used in this odd gray color, which stuck with for which is common for all of them. It's, although on the like 2010 Stars set, they used proper clawed feet or Shamatoran clawed feet since it was in uh, made of those kind of pieces. But also to note is the Rakshis of which were the first to use bendable limbs, which carried on into the uh, Toa Metru line and so on. And also the Toa Metru sets, once we get to them, is used bendable arms, of course, as well. And well, these upper leg pieces, which they also did use with uh, with the Kikanalo beast in 04. And and lower when you see this lower torso part where you can like turn this and the staff swaps his back and forth of which is kind of cool but it's which also could be used to the Colimatorn and the Vakis as well and uh what, oh what else is there to say Oh, uh, also this, bit, which makes it look kind of hunch-like, as, and those have these little spine things kind of just sticking right off. And it's the main feature of which is where you can like open it up, and there's supposed to be a crotta in, crot in it. Well, we'll get to that with the other one. And the headpiece they also used sometime just for these, but also with the Rohaga sets in 2005 as well. But as for this particular one, is that probably the only time they've ever used these pieces in this kind of green color, different than another uh, green they used over time. And also do have the uh, trans orange ones that used for all of the rock sheets. But however, on the movies of which, or on the movie Mask of Light is. It can like split open and it has the Krana sticker on, which would have been kind of interesting for this. But and in the Web of Shouse movie, the Taraga do use, or Rahaka do use these these heads and they move and all. So it's kind of interesting how they chose to use that. But I don't know, whatever. And of course, in each of those videos of theirs, where it shows them like 
sticking the spears into the grounds, which were kind of interesting. But also the same with the new movie. Well, well, with this for one, when it does that, it releases poison. Of course, and poisons Tahu. But yeah. as for this correct one here is with the staff pieces, which they also used in the like uh of one of the twenty oh five playsets and so which would I think they well they were all kind of well these two were the most reused but the Gurak ones blue ones which were reused in some sets as well. Even twenty fifteen reboot yeah, and the top part of which also chain, also different. And this one also has a crotta, which, if in some special promos at the time, can also get the, the shout ones that are in purple. And also had a collectability factor to them, where they came in all kinds of different color schemes. And as you can see, just like the other years where it's same thing, but just different color, different mask, different weapon, and everything. Until 2007, Baraki. And yeah. So, for my overall verdict on these sets, is these of which are uh, pretty cool sets from the time. But also, first, kind of, and also at the same time, a bit somewhat revolutionary. First time of having bendable limbs and whatnot, and oh, and also uh, one other cool thing to do with that is where you can like put your feet in front and do that and have kind of a flying hovering mode, which they do in the movie, which was kind of another cool thing about them. So at least there was starting to be some more pizzazz added to them. And, well, if you feeling a little, so, so if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them, and if you, like, missed out on these, well, good luck getting them, like eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.